It looks like we're reading Greatest Day, Stranger Change Things. things. It's the collab. No one yeah. knew they that needed. Can you imagine? No one wants. <laughs> but my brother hey. even knows. This. I was with Noah the other weekend. Maybe I can make it. Up. He's a great singer. He is. Yeah, he's an incredible singer. Interesting. Is there a sequel yeah. in this for him? I, I don't think know. So. Maybe crazy. he could play a young Gary Barlow. I don't know. His Manchester that, actor is. That I'd want to see. Yeah. <laughs> We've got that on film as well, so we can put yeah. it out there for him. Uh, ladies, congratulations on the film. Oh, thank, thank you, so much. you very much. I saw it yesterday. It's absolutely great, great fun. And I feel like it's one of those films that, given the state of the craziness of the world right now. Yes. This is like perfect time in the summer. Yeah. Sun's out. Yeah. Pims is out for everybody. Yes. <laughs> and uh, everyone can go and in, enjoy this. You must be delighted with being part of something like this and to give it to, to people for them to, to sit and the enjoy. Idea, like you're right about it coming out in the summer and the idea of doing something collective. I think we're all just into the recovery stage of having two years indoors and not being able to have communal experiences. And I also think during those two years, we did a lot of self-reflection and looking back and looking up friends, obsessively stalking old friends from secondary school and perhaps some nexus. Um, and for the, that, this film is a bit like that. It'll make you think of your old friends, get the gang back together and go and do something communal where you might end up singing in a cinema in a public space like a karaoke which is my hope. Mm. Hey, if you go to the Prince Charles, which is just down the road, that's, that's all they do. They do, Sing they, don't they? They're full, let's go. do the time warp and all that stuff, aren't they? wouldn't surprise me if in yeah. a year's time. Oh, you would love, love it. That. She's a big musical theatre head. She was there in Matilda go. in the yeah. West End. Don't that's... worry about it. <laughs> but she also loves, that will yeah, be where, your... That's where I'm going. She's yeah. moving to London, so we need to wouldn't give her some advice. Yeah, you're giving me some recommendations. In a year's time, the Prince Charles are like, hey, we have an idea. Yeah. I'll be there. Have a little sing song. Please. Playing each other, bits of each other. Young and... Saying, go on, we'll go on, go on, be brave. Bit. Young and younger. Young and younger? Yeah. Like Dumb and Dumber. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bit more like that. It's probably like Dumb and absolutely way dumber. <laughs> um, what, obviously you guys are, are in, not to spoil anything, but in scenes together and scenes apart. Mm, yeah. What was the, how did you guys meet? What was the kind of the communal thing to, to get kind of get the ball rolling? I think energetically we're very similar anyways. Yeah. And I do feel like Lara's become like a little sister and a member of the family. I think Irish people definitely have a bit of a way of bonding straight away. Oh, 100%. And connection. then actors also overly bond. So between that, the two of us, Lara, now has a little rental spot in my heart for, <laughs> forever. It's very expensive though. So. What was it like yeah. for you stepping back in time? Because there's there's that great, brilliant, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, C <laughs> Fax moment, which is just absolutely <laughs> oh, hilarious. Yeah. WH Smiths is there from when I was young and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So what was yeah. that for you guys kind of stepping I, back I, in time? I love all these little Easter eggs of like when we did walk onto the street of Clitheroe and they had designed like all these shops yes. that I... Um, I'm a few decades too late to. I wasn't existing at this time, but um, I got to I got to share it with my mum, who thought it was yeah. you know, thought it was great. <laughs> what is C fax? <laughs> what is tape? See, I don't <laughs> think I'm actually that bad compared to um, Jesse Malons, who plays Debbie. If we did have to explain every single bit of technology to her, like she just didn't understand the concept of anything. I have an interview so, that so I'm not I'm that bad. I'm going to put that down as a note for my interview. I have an interview dear. Yeah, so yeah. because yeah. yeah. Did you know what C fax was? Because I, I was actually a kid. did. I did. I did understand, and I understood. Um, oh, what is it? The recording device that she uses to record like you know that you'd hold up to the telly oh, the to be, yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. she didn't understand how that worked so we did have to understand that the red oh button meant record God. so please press, bring that up with her you have to her. press play and record yeah exactly so please, time, please bring this up and with I her. remember thinking like even with CFAS I was like this is the fastest thing I've ever experienced in, <laughs> in over three minutes we're going to get the second bit of oh, information oh my goodness <laughs> three minutes <Crazy>. guys <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother could see this now <laughs> as for as for the boys we'll call them the boys shall we yeah in, in the film I mean they've been going is it three decades now I mean when I was a kid I remember the euphoria of, yes. of people when they came around and they managed to do it for three get decades now you've done this film can you see just why they have been able to songwriting that? genuinely yeah. songwriting and I think uh, there's a lot of snobbishness around pop and around things that are popular and I think especially things that are popular amongst young women and if there's anything that shows th this music is evergreen and if there's anything I think this is a testament that we shouldn't be snobbish about any music that young girls like in any way because why is that in any way less these songs we did so many takes and sang so many times <laughs> and we should have been like by now we should be like Vietnam War veterans being like, oh, please, not, not never forget again um, and we're not they love them we we'll play them a million times more yeah. They're honestly so great and no one ever tired of them and they still make you get up and sort of pull you up from your bootstraps. And I think that's a lot to do with their works as composers and musicians, not just leather clad dancers. Not yeah. just, they're more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember as a kid though, Gary Barlow's hair, that was like the signature thing when you first, when I first saw them, that hair was just yeah. insane and now he's become 
a bit of a, less hair. A bit of a, less hair. <laughs> yeah. Less hair. Uh, it's also great, like you mentioned there, a great celebration of kind of female friendship mm -hmm. and, yeah. and this kind of communal thing that everyone can, can sit and enjoy. It, the film does such a good job. Is it one of the things that you, when you read the script, that it did such a good job of kind of celebrating that and showing it and being, this is, people can come together for anything and that, that communal experience is, is rarely equaled. That was, that was literally my PR, Emily, getting a voice note saying, I hate you. <laughs> you know what? You can, That's every, female friendship right Emily, there. Emily's whole body tightens sometimes when I go to speak, going, what's she going to say next? But that is a real... That I'm, Emily, mm -hmm. that's amazing, putting that in my little <laughs> Thank you. Thank you styled that. pocket for later. <laughs> um, we will give you back your minute. Um, um, I think... Particularly, oh, I think friendships, that, yes. Yeah, I think particularly the thing with it is that everyone can relate to it because it's just like, it's just these five 16 year old girls. And then even when we jump the 25 years later and we see them reunite like this, it's just that beautifulness of this one thing can bring, like that one common thing between these girls, this mm. love for this boy band, just brings them all together. And they're all so incredibly different. Yes. Um, but just have this complete and utter love and adoration for each other and have each other's backs no matter what even after the 25 mm. years after so much has happened and I think that's just one of the most beautiful things about the script is I think I know reading me like I was 18 when we filmed and I play a 16 year old Rachel so I didn't have very far to look back but I just I saw so much of myself and these girls and just when they're going to school together when they're talking about their lives with each other going through every single up and down it was just full something. scale analysis yeah, on the way to school. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> exactly the full debrief. So full I just, debrief. I completely, I just loved being able to see that represented, and I got a lot of joy out of being able to do that again with these. Four and then girls. the tragic feeling, twenty years later, yeah. when you don't just gel, something just doesn't jigsaw properly, and you're wondering if it's going to work again, and how is it going to click in, and how quietly tragic that can feel when you meet up with old friends and it, it's it's not the same it doesn't it doesn't have the same ease and is it going to work or is it not were we only friends because of geography mm. and our intense body experience at the time or or can it last like a take that song will last yeah. is our friendship evergreen in that sense so I think that's what the movie explores and probably brings up in a lot of people who seem to be watching it yeah absolutely uh, ladies I wish you all the best with the film oh thank you so much, thank thank you so much. Thank you. Love and to I meet can't you wait thank until you. you do uh, Stranger Things junkets in yeah, your greatest days t-shirt Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!